Greetings, adventurers, and welcome to the Adventure Incorporated Podcast. I am your Dungeon Master, Anthony Reed. This is episode 56, and it is the final episode in the Path of Fire story arc. Path of Fire went some places. I get that. But, uh, whew. Uh, I'm excited for this one. This is gonna be a lot of fun. So um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spend a lot of time, uh, you know, pontificating. I'm just gonna say thank you to the patrons at Patreon.com/adventuring, who uh, support the show. They know they support the show. I don't have to tell them that. Uh, but I am telling you, if you don't support the show, you can by going to Patreon.com slash Adventure Inc., by becoming a patron, by joining that elite group of uh, special people who support the show and do uh, let us do amazing things. So thank you to them. Thank you to you when you decide to jump on the bandwagon. Let's get started. Nobles and farmers, knights and scoundrels, gather round, gather round to hear a tale of excitement and mystery. Brave adventurers facing grave dangers. Billroth, the ranger. She's a grimalkin, that's, uh, but that's understood. No pets allowed, even though she's not a pet. I will wait outside. Everyone, if anyone needs anything, I am outside. Scarpin, the cleric. Should I just try and snipe them from over here? Yeah, okay. I did say they were as good as dead. I would hate for for my, you know, to break my word on our first contract as Adventure Incorporated. Ellery, the bard. We would want you to leave this warehouse. He points behind him. Mm -hmm. Church! Oh, sorry. We want you to leave this church. Deerin, the wizard. He say you no worship Shattered Fang. Yeah, man, he's like super wrong. We love Broken Tooth, uh, Shattered Fang, man. Prepare yourselves, for these are the tales of Adventure Incorporated. All right, everyone in good shape? Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys want to do anything before you get back to town and rest, or do we just want to shortcut that? Sell shortcut. or check out what's going on with these jewels. I figured we would do that with, like... Like the banker? Uh, no. What's-his-face? Uh, Elder Riggs. Cool. Yeah, so why don't, why don't we do... Why don't we say that you rest before that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so you guys head through the Standing Stone to the Standing Stone near the Wolf's Eye Lakes, and take a couple of days to march from there to the Brass Palace. Uh, when you arrive, you find a place to stay at the compound, uh, the Tower of Adventure Incorporated within the, blast, the Brass Palace. Uh, and as you rest and rejuvenate... Uh, Scarpin, are you resting now? Yeah, yeah. Scarpin has kind of... Just mentally, has, he's, he's like, he has some food around, and he feels better about life and death. Right. So yeah, he's but resting. he is not satiated. You begin to rest. Uh, mm-hmm. And everyone, go ahead and we're going to level up and do some character management. Hey. Let's go. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. Uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, level seven is level seven, you know? Yeah, tell me about it, Scarpin. What is it? Uh, yeah, so uh, Scarpin has rolled the dice of life and... Uh, as as per usual, got lower than the average, so uh, he gets four more hit points, uh, and he will be getting his for- first fourth level spell slot, which he's excited about. So he's going to be able to control water. That's it. That's all he wants to do. All right, uh, Diren, what's your level look like? Yeah, uh, Diren gained three hit points. Uh, he also picked up a fourth, his first fourth level spell. Wait, uh, only three hit points? I mean, you roll a d6. Three's <laughs> bang average. I'll take you it. You didn't add your con? Well, sure. I mean, okay. but <laughs> that is his con. Your con. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I rolled a one. <laughs> Uh, and so the fourth level spell that Deeran took is Rowlothim's Psychic Lance. 
which is out of Fizzbands, the new uh, fun guy book there. Uh, fun guy book. <laughs> yep. And uh, basically, I create a shimmering lance of psychic power from my forehead at a creature I can see. Or, if I can't see it, I can use its name. And then the shimmering lance of power bursts out of my face and smashes into them. Ha! Uh, the target makes a save, an intelligence save, and on a failed save, they take uh, 7d6 psychic damage and get incapacitated. Casting spells yep. by name is so fucking cool. Yup. That's a great, <laughs> that is really sweet. Yup. Uh, anything else? Uh, I learned another fourth level spell, but I probably won't get to use it. Um, because I'm probably always going to prep, uh, the psychic lance. Sure. <laughs> you, you learned the psychic lance and some melts. <laughs> right. Uh, polymorph. Oh, great. Sure. Uh, Belroth. Uh, Belroth, he got an upgrade to his ranger archetype. So now Freya's attacks are counted as magical for the purposes of overcoming immunities to non-magical attacks or damage. Um, nice. Which is useful. A um, license to kill. Yeah, Freya, Freya's claws got a little sharper. Um, I mean, we're just like in a crazy place i imagine that makes sense um and then uh he got a new spell and he's uh learning also from tasha's uh summon beast which basically he allows him to summon another freya or uh some other chimerological creature like that might fly or swim or just a third just but it will be like a magical ghost version so it'll be fine all right ellery I got a new spell. Woo! I took greater Woo. invisibility. Gregor invisibility. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nothing to see here. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I make a change already? <laughs> <laughs> Too late. Past your turn. What's that? <laughs> take a, take what do you hand want off to the change? Piece. I want to change um, Polymorph, and I want to do Dimension Door instead. Oh, all right, everybody roll better. back all your skills, and let's do it again. <laughs> all right, yep. well. Can't commit well, to the database yet. Well, uh, all right, well, Belaroth is taking locate object now. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. You can make that change. Okay. Approved. Approved. Great. After Close. the ad drop period, as normal, Deeran. Closing the ticket. <laughs> ad drop period. Oh, no. I hated that. <laughs> uh, when can I drop this without it appearing on my transcript? <laughs> uh, okay. So, um, you awake the next day, uh, fully rested, Woo! sitting here in the capital with a big old treasure chest full of treasure. <laughs> Full of jewels. Jewels and powdered silver. Should, um, the uh, Bill Roth says, I assume, eating a scone and drinking some coffee. This is how I imagine him in the morning. Um, should we? Scone. I feel like we... Bill Roth is the kind of guy who would call it a scone. A scone? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> well, I mean, the continental breakfast here is quite, quite exceptional. Um, I do love a good scone, so I, um. Yeah, so doesn't it fit? Yeah, it really does. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> it really does. He says va he says um a vase. <laughs> vase. Yeah, yeah, he does. <laughs> uh should we um should we go to Elder Riggs or get this appraised or did anyone do a detect magic on on the you know, giant chest full of gems? Uh no, but uh, I'll do it right now. Oh, okay. And he detects magic on them jams. Uh, nothing appears to be magical. Yeah, nothing. No, just a uh, simple, Bunch simple of gems. stuff here. Yeah, I was thinking about the powdered silver. I like I like going to Elder Riggs, like like all suggestion, suggestions. You know what I mean. And then uh, what is this powder? Maybe maybe this, the blacksmiths in town could use this to build weapons with. You know. Um, 
Diren would like to do an Arcana check on the gems. Uh, I know they don't have magic power like in them right now, but uh, he would like to see if they are like magic quality gems or just like yeah give me uh, go ahead and give me a roll you know what i mean yeah, while he's yeah. rolling did they they put gems into the demon stone right like around okay uh that is a 15 uh okay yeah looking at these gems you have never seen gems so clear um and so like precise they are maybe the highest quality gems you've ever seen. So definitely uh, would be like able to take magic infusion. Yes. If we decided to do that with them. Yeah. Oh, man. So I've been carrying around these uh, and Deren pulls out the two uh, like magic quality gems uh that we got almost a year ago uh oh in play like uh i don't know how long ago it was in story anthony uh you might know <laughs> yeah uh, Belroth also takes out his 50 bucks that he's had this whole time <laughs> no like uh they very early they're on they're legit okay. yeah uh and so he compares them to these uh, yeah, the ones from the chest are m- much better than the ones that you had in your pocket. <laughs> um, so, like, these uh, these gems here that I've been carrying around, like, they... Normally, this is the type of stuff that we would enchant. Like, you can see the difference between the two of these. Like, these are... These are crazy, Ellery. Hmm. So, if we saved them... What would we use them for? Are we making magic items with these? Well, I mean, the option is there. And also, you know, if we do have to make another demon stone, we would need more gems to put into it. So I I do think it's important to save them. Um, Maybe Scarpin has some suggestions on how to keep them safe in the bank. (laughs) They, they do offer storage, uh, safe, you know, deposit boxes. We could just keep them there. Seems as good a place as any while we're off adventuring. That we could all have, um, a, a, like some sort of control over that we would, as a group, have to vote on how it is handled. Belroth, we told yeah. you it can't just be one person in charge. That's why I brought it up. This is why I brought it up that way. <laughs> You're always talking about who's controlling the bank. Well, last time I, I, I yeah, I feel mm, like. I feel no. like no, 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 no. I'm not. <laughs> the bank issue is not my fault, and everybody knows it. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, bro, Ross. <laughs> Scarpin, <laughs> listen. <laughs> Maybe Elder Riggs would have a better idea about what we could do with these, or maybe say how much we would need to save, and could the rest with which we could invest into, I don't know, magic items or something. Yeah. Uh... Or it money. would be a real shame for us to lose these. Oh, okay. Well, uh, just, I mean, dude, look at this. Uh, and Deeran, like, puts his hands out with, like, the two from his pockets and the two uh, that, like, he picked out of the chest. Like, come on, man. Like, Bel- Belroth has, like, that face um, that you make when someone is clearly excited about something and they're, like, very <laughs> passionate about it and you like them as a friend and you want them to continue to have this energy but he's not really sure they're just the same they just look rocks. like rocks they're yeah. just rocks <laughs> <Sam>. <laughs> like, a couple of he's like rocks. so happy that his friend is excited about rocks right now <laughs> like it's like yeah all right, yeah you know okay sure but i i still think should show maybe see what elder riggs has to say about these very impressive specimens yeah, can you do that disc thingy again, Darren? I don't know if we should bring these through town, <laughs> like especially flaunting them about. Uh, uh, okay, 
So right. we're just going to leave them in a hotel room? No <laughs> way, man. <laughs> we're definitely bringing these. And I definitely... Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, no, you're right. I now understand. <laughs> you know what we should really pick up along our way is a bag of holding. We need a bag of holding for sure. I, 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 yeah, I wonder if this shop will have it. I, I hate I how so. rare they've been. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's crazy like there's to me a... that you, you people talk about them like they're all over the place. Like, I knew a story of a guy who had one. But, uh... And like, what? It just like, is that like super common where y'all are from? No, but like, you you know, it's like, oh, it's just like, would be so much more convenient for literal moments <laughs> like this. I just, true, I true. know they exist. I want one. And, but they're like, uh, out of my, out of my reach. Maybe we could special order something. <laughs> could we, do they have a catalog? <laughs> Can we special order magic items? Hey, the Gallagher Mons this way. I mean, Elder Riggs. They're this. They're that way. Let's go. <laughs> Let's okay. Go. All right. You head down to Elder Riggs's house, um, and it's uh, down in the square of old uh, old Mughamar. And uh, oh, so yeah. And so yeah. There you are. You're at the door. Okay. Starbin knocks. No response. Scarbin looks back at the group and th- then jiggles the handle. The door is locked. Okay, the door is locked. I don't, I don't know. The uh, guy Bellar- walking by says, can, can I help you? Oh. Um. No. Yeah, we're looking for Elder Riggs. Oh. You, you didn't hear. Hear what? Oh, I'm sorry. I got to be the one to tell you. Elder Riggs passed a few weeks ago. Oh. How? Uh, how? Yeah. What? What happened? What? He went quietly in his sleep. He was an old fellow. Oh, have they done a full investigation? I uh, I wouldn't know, lass, but I I suspect not. He he was an old gentleman. Oh. Um, thank you so much for letting us know. Sorry, uh, my condolences. Uh, good luck. Thank you. <sighs> well. Um. <laughs> Deeran sits on the edge of the desk. Deeran, I don't want to sound like you with your theories right now, but how likely do we think it is that Elder Carapath had Elder Riggs killed? I mean, wouldn't be the first time. Right? Didn't he... Wasn't he involved in... Oh, 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 oh. Not that like Elder Riggs died. The first time that Elder Riggs times. died. <laughs> so I was to like, yeah. Nah, he, killed, he killed him the first time he died, so why wouldn't he uh, be the second? He had three lives, and poof, that was his last one. No. Yeah. yeah uh... I hadn't even gotten there yet. Um, I'm I sorry. Was... No, it just. That means, like, Wesley is our, like, most clued in connect. And and Elder Carapath, who hates us and may have been involved in murdering Elder Riggs, or, like, Elder Riggs is untimely demise it just this sucks this does suck (laughs) I think um, if 
we should head up to the, the palace and report to... I don't know. I don't know if you know if I want to show this to Elder Carepath. That's even oh, I, our boss. I don't. I don't either. Do we? But maybe. What were the other elders that Elder Riggs was tight with? Elder, well, I don't know tight, but Elder Willowheart was there, and, and God, I wish I had paid attention. Yeah, it's hard to keep track of names. That was a long. That feels like a long time ago. Yeah, I really <laughs> haven't really seen these people in a bit. I'm not surprised you don't remember their name. Well, sure, but like now it's important, and no, now I'm realizing I've messed up, man. No, I know, but that was it. It was just Elder Riggs, Elder Hawk Talon is is gone as well. Gone. Right. Elder Carapath hates us, and yeah. and we've never met Elder Willowheart. That. He seems like our only last... They seem like our only last hope. We didn't speak with them much, but they were there. So uh, they're a little, ha- little halfling. Got a little pudgy, long oh, beard. Yeah. The, oh, yeah. The yeah, one yeah. with the... Yeah. yeah. The kind of... Yeah. Little beard. Yeah. Smiley. Very forgettable. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I agree. <laughs> Poor Elder Willowart. <laughs> well, well, he's about to become a major character, baby. <laughs> Just kind of like, you know blend it in or whatever you know um well do we want to try our luck with elder willow heart or do we want to go to Redbridge and regroup i think we there? should try our luck with elder will Will. i think we should try our luck with elder willow heart wow think... that is a difficult title and name I... conver- combination to say i think it's why we forgot because we were just like I, elder wit Whatever, they're not important. Elder Riggs. <laughs> Elder Way Riggs, easy. easy. <laughs> Rolls right off the tongue. You know, Elder Carapath sounds vaguely threatening. That's how you know he's not a good guy. Elder, Elder Talonhawk. Cool. Very you know? cool name. But like also missing. Uh, it no, is he's crazy. Dead, remember? No, he's well, dead. he's dead now. Yeah. Like, but at the time he was missing, remember? Yeah. Yep. He was cool, but missing. Those were the two things we knew. About yeah. him. Cool <laughs> name, not around. <laughs> <laughs> and then we learned a third thing, also That's dead. That's right, deceased. I mean, I mean, we spoke with the Viscount directly, but uh, seem, they seem to be preoccupied in just letting Carapath do, I also do their thing. I also don't think we could just speak to the Viscount, unfortunately. So, I mean, well, hold on, man, why not? We like we just spoke to the voice of creation. Well, Ellery just spoke to the voice of creation. I mean, and Ellery spoke with Lanyere who apparently uh, did a bunch of shady stuff behind the back of the Titans, uh, I mean, which is pretty cool. D- Darren, I, <laughs> yeah? I do I do think that I wish we could speak to the Viscount. However, having worked in... Uh, ed- if, if this works anything like how the administration of an educational institution works, there is no way I'm, you we're going to just get a meeting with them at any point. Like now, we can't just bust in without a, a predetermined relationship and sort of, they don't have office hours, I don't know. Well, if there's anything that I've learned from the travel and plays that I've been watching a lot of lately, the best way to approach a Viscount is to be an appropriate suitor for the season of marriage that's coming up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't. I'm not. I'm not. Ideally, looking for you'd meet anybody. at a ball. Your eyes would connect. You'd have a moment, and then the next day, the the vi you you make yourself enticing enough that the viscount shows up at your door to have tea, and then you will fall in love and get married. Well, I don't. If it's oh, any... you don't. Know. I, I can do that. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like... <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, okay, cool. Perfect. <laughs> we got Scarfin. Well, uh, Belroth, if, like, if there's a problem uh, with the bureaucracy of it, like, I could just have my dad write a letter. Honestly, that wouldn't hurt. I mean, Darren. sure. Yeah. <laughs> seems but fine. But you're missing the point of... I said balls. That there are dances <laughs> and, and balls, and you get to dance. <laughs> And yeah. then balls. <laughs> and then balls. <laughs> she said balls. Um, Ellery, I appreciate I don't want to get too far away from this without recognizing Deeran's new anti-Titan stance. 
<laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not anti-Titan necessarily. Hey, we did shady shit behind the Titan's back, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Listen, I mean, tell me it's not. Um. Huh? All right. You know, well, pr- nobody says about Prometheus. You know, it's pretty lame that he stole fire from the gods. <laughs> nobody says that. Everybody's Zeus did. like, <laughs> well, yeah, but yeah, Zeus is Zeus the man. Did. You expect him to. He's the man. <laughs> <laughs> I think you guys are saying the man and with different intonations. <laughs> um, uh, uh, why don't we then here? Why don't we? Try the options that have that take the least effort first, which is that's my balls. style, man. <laughs> we'll talk, uh, the balls. elder Willow <laughs> Hawk Willow Heart Willow. He is so forgettable. I can't. <laughs> well, Willow you're mixing Talon. him up with Hawk Talon. What is his name? <laughs> Willow Heart. Willow Heart. Willow Hawk. Willow Heart. Willow Heart. Yeah. Willow Heart. Understood. Why don't we try and find him first? Because he might be easier than uh, doing anything else. The Viscount. The who Viscount. you address as my lord. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Not you, my leash? Did you just say you're going to do the Viscount? No, I said then the Viscount. And I think <laughs> I think while we go talk to... I think while we go talk to Elder Willowheart, that dear, and I think that was a good idea about your dad, even though it doesn't involve any balls at all. Mm-mm. And I think that we, it might help cool. us. You've never had to ask to my that. dad for anything. I, I mean, I <laughs> have not. I've. I mean, I'm still waiting to hear back from my father. But this seems unrelated. I'm just. I'm just. I just made myself sad. I haven't heard from him in a while. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Anyways, all let's to move on to the Brass Palace. <laughs> <laughs> incorporated. Wait, do you think we have what would we have mail for, Scarpin? I mean, I probably have lots of letters from my family. Ellery probably does too. Yeah, I do. Let's get let's <laughs> che- let's check the mail. <laughs> Here's the mail. It never fails. It makes me want to wag, wag my, my tail. tail. Uh, <laughs> Rob, you can't sing along if you don't even know the words to the mail song. You stopped. When it comes, I want Yeah, because you were off tempo from me. So I wasn't going to Because we're on Zoom and our, it doesn't our, sync our well. Uh, uh, this is such good audio. <laughs> uh, I think this will get cut. <laughs> I hope not. Anytime we ask that, it doesn't. Uh, yeah, joke's on you. Nothing gets cut. <laughs> Except that one thing that we never speak of. <laughs> well, we try not to speak of it, Jesus, Rob. Quit bringing it up. I didn't talk. I don't know. What you're ta- we never oh, talk no. about the orb. We're getting too close. <laughs> way too close. Uh, I think for letters. Um, yeah, Anthony, yeah. Write us some letters right now. Go. <laughs> I'm, okay, I'm okay with that. Scarpin has received letters and he's happy about the content. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think he received letters of no consequence, uh, yeah. just of affirmation Bills. and love. Uh, but yeah, not what did Deer and receive? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> We've been trying to reach you about your extended war. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say past two balances. <laughs> what about um, Belroth? Uh, yeah, I think Belroth, you uh, you get stuff from your family in prosperity, mm-hmm. um, but it doesn't like indicate anything. Hmm. Okay. Just that they're nervous about all their family on the aisles. Yeah, yeah. Like they don't know anything you don't know. Uh, he Just takes them all much less sad. than you know. He Just takes how them terrible all. and sad the whole world is for for uh, the Our demon. family. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, he takes them all and he, he he fully plans to reply to them um, and let them know that he is okay and that he is working in the you know just chit chat. Fully, fully plans. Intense. 
Yeah. <laughs> I want credit for the intention here because it's not going to happen. No, it's going to happen. <laughs> Do you want me to write shit? I will write shit. I just also have other shit too. And, no, you know, that's it just fine. Gets just away tell from me you. he writes the letters. Don't tell me he intends to write the letters. Okay, fair. He writes nope. the letters. He, he only intends to. He does want to try mm. and... He does try to pry his very... Uh, uh, I feel like his father is someone who doesn't like to uh, divert from the point. And like he has his own, like just like Belroth, he has this sort of like one track mind. And so his father has his one track mind and he's trying to like find out what his father might know related to the demons and other things. I know he's not really researching that, but he is a researcher. So yeah, um, okay. as well as he's sending his mom, like, a, I love you, like a real sweet, you know, I hope you're doing well been thinking about the cookies that you make you should send me some all right where are you guys so you guys are heading to willow heart i like that idea yeah okay elder uh, willow heart <clears throat> head to elder willow heart's office um he has a secretary sitting outside the office uh as you approach they are half orc um they have uh medium length hair like just you know like the pulled back into a tail uh and as you approach they say what can i do for you uh hello uh we're tessa um i'm ellery this is scarpin and deeran and belroth and hello. and freya hey and freya tessa, and uh, tessa tessa let me see about tessa oh yes the the expedition society of stories and adventures Mm. Oh, Tessa one. Yes, yes, that's us. Ah, yes. Oh, yep. yeah. Wait, yes. Yep, I see your file here. Oh, oh we were here, um, hoping to speak with Elder Wallflower. Uh, <laughs> Willowheart. Uh, we're, we're here Willow to speak Willowheart. with Elder Willowheart. Elder Willowheart. Yeah. Oh, Elder Willowheart is in with someone else right now. Oh, but it we'd does be happy say to here. Wait. Well, it does say here, this is a quite an old note. Apparently, Elder Willowheart expected you to visit the last time you were in the city. And it says to let you in immediately, and it hasn't been rescinded. Oh, well, perfect. Then we should be let hey. in immediately. Well, this is a very difficult situation. He is in there with someone else right now, and I think that they are... Uh, they were told me not to let anyone disturb them. Who, who is it? Oh, I don't... I, the name on here, I think, is fake. What's it say? It just says Puck, which feels like not a real name. Puck? Like P-U-C? Or P-U-K? Yeah. P-U-C-K? Well, I, I was only told to me verbally, and I guessed at the spelling. I went P-U-C. I don't know if that was right or not. Mm. It doesn't really matter, because I just say it. And then it says Puck to me, and I'm just going to say the name back, you know? Mm-hmm. I do. Um... Uh, out of what? game, have we? I I'm I do sorry. Not I remember this note. At all. I, this I can't is when control I, F. I can't. But this is when I like have a really hard time. What we know from campaign one versus <laughs> this last you, year. Uh, at the uh, Celeste, the um, Lanier. Lanier. Yeah, at the dinner you met the puck who introduced Lanier. Yep, um, okay. Oh, I have his written name written down. I don't have it. At him as Pricellian. Puck. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you. Sorry, because Ellery okay. would remember that. Um, yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> and I know I, you were trying to determine what Ellery knew versus what you knew. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yep. She should know this. Yes. Yes. Um. Oh, we know him. It's okay. You can let us in. Well, I mean, if you say so. I. They reach over onto the desk and slide over a few uh, like mechanisms. And the door clicks open behind them. Thank you so much. Oh, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. A, a puff of smoke comes out the door. Whoa. <laughs> cool. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Deeran, like, wafts it uh, toward himself. Does he Deer. recognize the smoke? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Oh, boy. Dude, we should have visited Elder Willowheart a long time ago. Oh, boy. <laughs> I don't, I don't uh, understand. You... Oh, after you, Ellery. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> dear, dear uh, and I, I apologize in advance if I start just lecturing about chimerology. I'll just and I'll then squeeze your arm, uh, mm-hmm. and just like that'll be the signal that you're talking too much. I don't know if I'll remember that, but I will do my best. <laughs> and Belroth walks in the door. <laughs> Uh, inside the office, Elder Willowheart is sitting at his desk. Uh, his feet are up on the desk. He has a very long pipe. Like, how uh, did we forget this guy? He seems rad as fuck. Like, <laughs> what the hell? Well, he definitely wasn't blazing when we met him. Yeah, otherwise. <laughs> yeah in the big Surprise, meeting with the bike me, Elder Willowheart. Come on Guaranteed. in. Got some deer in with a dope adventure rings. for y'all. The, the, the pipe is very long like it it reaches down to the floor uh the like that's pipe? where the bowl of the pipe is yeah what so a- it's just like a huge stem on the pipe that he like uh <laughs> has in his mouth and is he's it just a bong? like what is he? no it's not a bong it's okay. just a long wooden pipe uh but it looks like it was made out of like a significant portion of a tree uh that's even though i mean he's short anyway but uh so Still. he's got his feet propped up on his desk and then across from him Sitting in a larger size chair is uh, Celian, the uh, the klaxon that you saw at the meeting with um, Lanier. Uh, the, he's just sitting there with uh, his own pipe, much smaller, much more discreet, uh, wooden like cob pipe, and is uh, they both look to the four of you as you enter. And Elder Willowheart says, "Finally, I've been waiting for you to come around." Oh. Elder Willowheart and Ellery kind of like does a half curtsy. Um, sure. And and Celian, uh, we're so sorry for interrupting your meeting and also for not coming in sooner. We didn't know we were supposed to. Elder Willowheart goes, Celian? And he looks at Celian and laughs a little bit. He looks back at you. He says, this is Puck. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Puck. And she curtsies again. Puck's eyes are twinkling as he uh, nods to you with his pipe. Um, we're, we're here now. Um, was there, there was something we wanted to talk to you about, but was there something that you wanted to address with us before we get to that? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh boy. It's, it's gone. It's gone. I'm sure (laughs) it's, I'm sure it'll come back to me. (laughs) This guy's I'm my sure I'll remember now. eventually. Man, I'm never going to forget him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, well. Chinese food. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway so I'm going to get back to my meal. <laughs> um, so. Uh, well, what can I do for you? What I can, how can I help? Well, uh, first of all, uh, P- Puck, please forgive me for just a minute. I've been waiting to talk to these uh, folks for uh, months now, you know, and I'd be remiss if I didn't take the opportunity to hear what they had to say. So please, please continue, because you know it's really been a long time coming that we've we, this meeting has been postponed <laughs> oh, so boy. many times. I feel like I've been, I've been trying to get a hold of you, and it's just it's never working out. And I'm I'm so excited to finally get the opportunity to to share oh, we're with excited your thoughts, too. to hear yes. from you what you have to we're say, very excited, to hear to get from your un- idea really about what, what's to going be on here with now. Because so what's when we're, when we're currently really busy in the, in the past couple of years, <laughs> what's happening? <laughs> this is stressing me out. Deeran's like, oh, he's trying to watch the whole conversation uh, as the smoke just like, like floats around his head because he hasn't sat down, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the office is clearly hot boxed, and so like he's in the top part of it, like of the cloud, because like he's also uh, this isn't a fire drill. We're, we're moderately tall, this. right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so far, the, the only one who needs to give me a contract is Ellery. Yeah, absolutely. At yep. this point, absolutely. the the disc or... has has made its way into the room. <laughs> uh, so, Ellery, yeah, the coughing, you can, we'll keep the coughing. Uh, that's perfect. <laughs> um, yes, so, uh, f- well, first of all, I'm sorry to hear about uh, Elder Riggs. Oh, geez, you're going to harsh the vibe already? Oh, um, <laughs> oh. Freya, oh, can you wait outside? To, I don't know if you should be in this much t- t- smoke. <laughs> 
Freya uh, heads out. <laughs> I just don't want my. I don't. I don't know if that's safe. I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. Elder Riggs, what a tragedy. But uh, you don't know to be expected, I suppose. Um, is there, is there, this is just kind of a side question. Is there a, a process for electing new elders? You know, since, you know, Elder Hawk Talon is gone. Yeah, yeah really the best way to become an elder is to get real old. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time I've wished so badly for this to be a video podcast. <laughs> Because Anthony, the way that Anthony just cracked himself the hell up. Yeah, made... that wasn't even in character. That was no, that was an in character laugh. I, need I don't to know. Clear. That was, was. an in character laugh. I don't laugh. think you can tell the otherwise. In character, and he was clearly fucking pleased with himself. I was. Yes, that's true. I mean, yes. that that's true. <laughs> just because you ended up wanting it in character. No, it was in character the whole time, but also oh. I found and. it hilarious. Yes. <laughs> Yes, and I can't wait until um, I find it hilarious while editing. Also, that always really makes me happy. <laughs> there are some times where I will laugh at something when I'm listening, and then like I laugh on the recording, and I'm like, <laughs> "That does throw me too." I've done this. That feels better to me than when I laugh at something I say, because I feel like that's just embarrassing. <laughs> no, it just means you know quality content. That's right. <laughs> You're welcome, listeners. Um, buy our okay. shirts <laughs> <laughs> okay um uh, yeah no I, I i totally get that um but i i think we had a method for you know we, we were we were looking for someone at one point to to move up when all, when elder hawk talon disappeared at least in the interim Oh, I don't remember how that goes. You'll have to check with Carapath. He knows that kind of thing. Yeah, um, oh, I mean, speaking of Carapath, what's the best way to maybe f- form, like, a strong a connection, one might say, with him? He looks over at uh, Puck, and Puck looks at him, and they both just start laughing. <laughs> Be a document! <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, that Ellery one is looks actually at quite Belroth. good. That was a good one. That was a good... Wait, what? (laughs) Well, he said... Yeah, like, you might be our in. Yeah, you're basically a document. (laughs) But, like, one that walks and talks and has a personality. Oh. I didn't think I was going to get that last one. Basically a document. (laughs) It's it's a compliment because you have a lot of information. I watched Rob react (laughs) as, like, fuck you. And then realize, like, actually, Belroth, how would Belroth would like that? Fuck, I have to. What do I do? Like, <laughs> I don't know if he. I don't think he thinks himself as boring, but he knows himself as boring. You I know didn't say I mean? boring. Well, I said I, you said document. A document. And what is that? Uh, what does Belroth think that is? Exciting, according to Belroth. <laughs> think... Belroth knows that he likes boring things and is okay with it. <laughs> then it sounds like he wouldn't be upset about it. Well, he still didn't expect to be he... given a personality compliment. <laughs> <laughs> that stands. You can't take that win from me. <laughs> um, well, okay, I can talk to Carapath, I guess. Um, not right now. I do not feel like I should talk to Carapath right now. Uh, has anyone? <laughs> wow, has yeah, anyone ever thought about how like now. cold and wet are like really close? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, not a wet conversation again. <laughs> oh yeah, you guys you guys are gonna love this one though. So okay. <laughs> no, but I mean the feeling, not actually, like because lava, lava is not wet. Lava is not wet! There's no water! Okay, but actually, actually, sorry, Elder Willowheart. Um Yeah, Willowheart, what do you think? Well no, no, uh, about like, Whoa. <laughs> He's just a- about really what like, we, in his head what, about it. What we came here for, um we uh, I, she looks back to everyone. I feel like we can trust Sally, uh, uh, Puck. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Um, can we? I don't know. Uh, Lanyar seems to trust him. Well, yeah, so. but Lanyar went against the Titans. Remember, we found that out. Like, regardless of how <laughs> cool that is. 
Yeah. But you kind of have an anti-Titan stance, dear, and I feel like you... <laughs> I mean, that seems new. The that does heart seem of creation new. would never betray me. Puck's like, there we go. I don't know what you're all talking about. <laughs> uh, I, um, <clears throat> as everyone knows, I'm just uh, one who ca- gathers stories, uh, tales from the from the world at large. Uh, oh yes, uh, yes, yes. Of, uh, of, yeah. of course. No, that's how we definitely know you. I was just speaking. It was more of an internal religious conversation with myself. So, um, can we trust you? Of course, you can trust me. Okay, of course. sounds of course. great. There we go. Um, uh, Darren would like to insight check that. Of course. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just for himself. Uh, but he has been uh, affected by the smoke in the room, uh, and he rolls a two, so he feels um, pretty trusty. Well, I don't know that you do. Um, I think like you hear this and you think to yourself, like, why would anyone? What would someone we couldn't trust say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you were. Oh, so you have been affected by the smoke in the room, but the <laughs> but the opposite way. Right. <laughs> um, I didn't realize that's what we were smoking in here. Uh, uh, no, oh yeah, man, this is this is the good shit. <laughs> well, uh, what's this, what's what's the strain of this? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> the hybrid. I'm feeling really lightheaded right now. Not that uh, I would know what any of those words mean. Uh, let's keep going. <laughs> It's legal where you are. Hey, listener, are you a cop? You got to tell yeah, us if, if you're, you're a cop. cop listener. <laughs> yeah, if you're a it's fed. Probably not zero. <laughs> if you're a fed, you've got to tell us. <laughs> By okay, um, getting so... your friends to like and subscribe to. <laughs> <laughs> Buy our shirts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, actually, uh, we've been out trying to kill... De- well, we're not trying to kill the demons. We're trying to balance and restore the the balance of you know. We're anyway. You're not trying to kill the demons. Well, no, that's the whole point. We sent you out there. Well, we no, are of course. create create no, of course. murder. I think that was the yeah. We're just title. trying no. to we're trying to use creation to to balance out the good and evil in this world rather than you know being as just anyway. Um, we just got a whole bunch of uh, very expensive looking. And maybe spell casting uh, asset stones. And we were hoping you'd take a look at them and let us know maybe maybe if we were, you know, to create a new a new demon stone, if we should you save them for that. I just we just wanted some advice from someone who knows more than us because we just feel like we don't know anything. And we normally would go to Elder Riggs and well, we just found out what happened. Like about an hour ago. Oh yeah. Oh, I mean, I'll, <clears throat> yeah. I'll, I'll take a. I'll take a look. He puts his pipe down across his desk. It just like is the length of his desk. That's so rad. Um, uh, yeah, of course. I'm happy to uh, take a glance, see what we can see. <clears throat> yeah, Deeran, uh pops the the lid on the chest. He pulls out one of the stones. He looks at it. He goes, yes. Yes, interesting. I think. No, yeah, I'm quite sure this is a gemstone. Okay, go on. Tell us more. Well, they are um, quite useful in some rituals, if you are trying to store magic of some kind. <sighs> mm-hmm. Great, uh, man. Thank you so much. That was really very helpful. Valuable. Uh, yeah. I don't... <clears throat> I've never seen a gemstone like this before. Awesome. Uh, when he puts it back in the box, Darren closes the box uh, and looks at everyone else. Puck says, uh, oh, uh, uh, would you mind if an old traveler take his, takes a look? I've seen quite a few things in my day. Yeah, sure, man. Uh, of course. Flips the box back open and tosses him one. Ah, these are very exquisite indeed. And he uh, tosses it back to you and he says, I don't know what you'd be looking to uh, create with that. Powerful as they may be, I think you would find uh, anything that you would do with them to be uh, a waste of their splendor. 
Those are some of the finest stones I've ever seen. And I would hate for anything to keep them from whatever their purpose might be. That's what I was saying, man. I was saying that, like, these feel like they need to be used for something specific, right? Like, the, the ability to hold magic power in these things just seems so much more uh, innate to them. I don't know. Like, there's just something about them, right? And perhaps not anything specific, but certainly something special. I Those are maybe some of the purest crystals I have ever seen. Thank you, man. Finally, somebody who gets me, you know? And Deeran's, like, so excited to talk to someone else who, <laughs> like, appreciates the magical potential of these rocks. Belroth is happy for his friend. He really is. <laughs> it's like when your friend finds the other friend who likes anime. Sorry, this just happened to me. Uh... You uh, mentioned something... Uh... I believe you said your name is Ellery? Yes, that's me. You said something about uh, the Agrestal spirit. Ah, uh, yes. I believe you mentioned something about uh, a defiance of, a, of will. Um. He leans toward you a little bit. Well, um... I don't know how familiar you are with the uh, uh, Agrestal spirit. I've I've obviously collected many tales of the Agrestal uh, spirit. Of course. Okay. Um so maybe you know the one about when he took all of the 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 all, well all of the all of the touched before they were touched and touched, touched them. them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he did. Um <laughs> Hmm. When he gave everyone <laughs> life and spirit and, and their, their little spark of creation. Yes, yeah, I am, I am familiar with that tale, certainly. The heart well, of creation, having stepped down from uh, the realms beyond and gifting upon the world his spark and light. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, well, we just heard that from a, a, a different source um, who, is, who is familiar with, you know, the, the reason that it happened that so we we kind of talked to the titans almost in a way and they took all of the things away from people and then the heart of creation gave them back so um i think what Deeran was maybe saying is that you know because the titans didn't know that he was doing it it felt like he was erasing the things that the titans had done yeah, like, I think we should be pretty clear here, right? Uh, and Deeran, like, uh, makes, like, a quick, furtive glance toward uh, toward the Elder and says, like, you know, like, we were talking to somebody who, like, heard a story about a thing, right, uh, where... Elder Willowheart's looking down at his hand, and he's like, if it's a rock, can it be wet? Uh, <laughs> I, I don't think He's just, like, muttering can. to himself. I mean, it can be. Wait, what are we talking... <laughs> Hold on. Oh my gosh, what's in this room? But so yeah, like it, it was a, a story, right? Uh, from the Titans' perspective about how like they took mind and spirit from those races. Uh, that story would be of great interest to me. I have never collected a story that old. Oh, well, um. Ooh. Ooh, is there maybe something that you could extrapolate from the story to help us? Yeah. From what I understand, from what you've told me, the the Titans took away what you would consider the things that Lanyer gave you? Yes. He's like, he basically is just ignoring Willowheart at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so and is like speaking Ellery. quietly with you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like, They, they took them away? Yes. Why would they do that? Because that was the only way that they could create the demon stone to lock the demons away. Ah. Oh. They powered it. With your sparks. Mm -hmm. Not yours, of course, but those of your ancestors. And right. for as long as magic existed in the world, 
the demon stone would hold. Ah, let me tell you two stories. Okay. Excellent. One, I believe you know somewhat already. That the, when Lanyer came to this place, when he came to this land, this material plane from his home amongst the Fey people, he walked the world as we all did in those days. We played, we ran, we frolicked with the creatures of this land, the animals that ran about. Animals like insects and birds, animals like cats, like mice, and animals like humans, orcs and dwarves. Creatures with no mind but to frolic, to eat, to exist. Lanyer once told us that he heard the sound of the elves singing reverberate from the forest and that he knew there had to be something more to them, something buried deep down. It was then that he first suggested that he might change these creatures, as is the way that our magic works. Now, our leader at the time thought this was a terrible idea. He forbade it. But Lanyer did not listen. Now, I do not believe that Lanyer knew that what had happened was the will of the Titans. Nor do I think he would have cared. For Lanyer felt the possibility of beauty and of life beyond the mindlessness these creatures held. And so he gave elves a gift. And we had always wondered why this gift, this change, had caused so much to erupt and to blossom. What Lanyer gave you what he gave to the elves, to humans, to orcs. He gave the gift of legacy. That is what his power was meant to change, to change your connection to fate itself, that from one generation to the next, there would be everlasting memory or connection to each other. For the elves, that legacy manifested in permanence. But the society, the other changes that came in people, we always questioned. But it seems those things were buried deep inside you already. They were simply reawakened by Lanyer's touch. Obviously, each of those races that were so touched have their own legacies inborn. Those powers manifested something deeper within them. It has always been curious to me where people like our friend Scarpin here came from how your powers came manifest again, your spirit. Or, Belroth. Well, that one we, we just got the answer to. That is also a story I do not know. I, I keep on forgetting y'all, y'all didn't see that play with me. Uh, Lanier's many gifts. There was great mendicant play I saw all by myself. Huh. There. That was, but that was a great retelling, Celia. Oh, that's right. Both here and was getting beat up. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah, I but, missed uh, you, all you of missed that. You missed a great performance. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, it was a lot. I, I didn't quite tell it as much, as well as you did, though. I mean, so yeah, I feel glad. like... Thank you for You talked a lot again. about the special effects, not so much <laughs> about the content. But Bell... Uh, it was impressive. But Dieran was learning about the, the world when he was getting beat up. Allow me to tell you my second story. Oh. 
I know that you are, well, most of you, are relatively young. This world is not. 300 years ago, great darkness came over this land. And there were heroes who banded together to stop that darkness. Yeah, five of them. The numbers are not important. Some might say five. Some might say a hundred. There were many heroes that rose in those times. And many that fell. Some pin such things on the backs of a single person. That only one were one person in a place in a different way that everything would have fallen to ruins. But that story is not what I am here to tell you. Oh. oh. <laughs> what I am telling you is that there were choices made by those people. Choices made to protect this place. And in doing so, they cut us off from the powers beyond this world. Those heroes, with good intention, and truly, without this, I don't know that we would be here to have this conversation, severed this plane from the planes of magic. And it sounds as though in doing so, they stopped the protections that came to the stones within the demon stone. And for a good hundred plus years, no one could touch the magics on this plane. So that's why the demon stone failed, because magic no longer touched the world. But magic returned. Yeah, like, I don't see how this is, like, okay, so the great heroes that stop the Shadowfall are responsible for the demons? That doesn't feel right, man. And also, we still don't... Magic, magic has returned to some. Magic has returned to you, of the greater races. To you, of those touched by Lanyar. Magic has returned to those of you who carry this spark. But there are those of us who still do not feel its touch. But how you have reconnected to the arcane, I do not know. Okay. So, like, in the before days, like, uh, a deer could use magic? Or, like... Why is why do we keep bringing up deer? Somebody said it <laughs> earlier, and like it's just all I can think about right now, man. No, no, me too. But there are creatures <laughs> in this world. <laughs> A N. That's why you. That's oh, okay. Creatures who are not mortal, like you. Creatures who come from realms beyond this place. From the deep magics. Or who have been so steeped in them that they have changed. They have become something else entirely. It is creatures like those. Who no longer have the ability to touch. The powers we once were able to. That does not mean we are devoid of power. The fey people say that they are still connected to their home realm and that the power of transmutation is still, sorry, the power of transformation is still flowing within them. But to touch the arcane is beyond us. Any creature who has lost their mortality will have lost their ability to touch those powers. So... Who can we ask about that? Who indeed? Uh, Go ahead, Darren. 
So you're saying that, like, for example, if I were a universally powerful uh, entity who, uh, you know, could create a stone that would block creatures uh, from another dimension uh, from coming to this one, I wouldn't have magic power like a connection to magic anymore because I wouldn't have mortality, right? So like, there might be some magics you could touch. Some that were deeply, deeply ingrained within you. But you would not be able to touch the powers of the arcane that no longer connect to this world. Yeah. Okay. Why you mortals are able to touch the arcane, I do not know. You should not be able to. It is not here. So the question is not then, touching yeah. this plane. So like it's not even a question of like magic coming back or whatever, right? Because like it's supposed to still be gone. There is no reason that I can see as to why you can touch the arcane. Whoa. I have spoken with one about this, and I believe he has his theories, but he has not shared them with me. Who is it? I believe you know him as Silverblade. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, he would have been way smarter to bring these stupid stones to. Ha! We can still go. We've got your letter going to the Viscount. We've we've got Silverblade as an o- option, but I think this has been pretty valuable. Oh, um, for sure. Uh, I mm. just uh, and Deeran nods over at uh, Willowheart. He's asleep in the chair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, just between us, do you think it's weird that Elder Riggs is dead? Elder Riggs? Yeah, the the other... I mean, like, he was old, but, like, he seemed all right. Last time we saw him, anyway. I, personally, no. He was very old. But I have a hard time tracking how long you mortals live. Fair. Yeah, uh... I just, you know, uh... Deer leans in closer. You know, between you and me... Elder Carapath? I heard he, you know, like, I heard they were on the outs. And that guy's like, he seems like he's really, you know, hungry for power around here. Carapath is ambitious. But I would not consider Riggs to have been a check to those ambitions anyway. Hmm. Uh, we, we, We do know that Carapath already murdered a different uh, elder, that's kind of also why we bring it up. That's why, we, oh? that's why we're suspicious. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Hawk Talon. He, he was missing when we first got here, and now we found out that Carapath hired somebody to kill him. Somebody told you that. Well, so they told us that there's no way to pin it back on Carapath. Uh... Deeran like inhales a deep breath of the smoke <laughs> and he looks back at his at his teammates. Bell Roth Did shrugs. we get played? No, I I don't think we were given enough information to be dangerous with Did we get played by the King of Beggars? Like did he just tell us what we thought we wanted to hear, man? Like who's telling the truth anyway, man? Um I don't think he had any reason to lie to us. Really? If I were the king of beggars and like my whole thing was like oh, owning a, you know, an underground den of like lies and deceit and, and, and duplicity and, and, you know, trying to like uh, spin as many people twisted as possible, I would definitely be doing that. Or he didn't think we were a threat having the information he gave us. 
Unless that's what he wants us to think. Yes. And really <laughs> wasn't giving us any information. Well, I don't... Like, he wants us to think that we're not a threat, and so he's given us the truth, when in reality, he knows that we're a threat, and he's not giving us any information, man. I don't know if I follow anymore. And I don't think it's the smoke that still lingers in the air. <laughs> all right, let me spell it out for no, you. No, right? that's all right. No, I understand what you're trying to say. I just had never really considered it before that it might be anything untoward. I mean, he's the king of beg. I mean, I know, but I know, but we successfully did a thing that we so- that we told him we would do, and then. He gave us information. Yeah, but now I find it important to know you check your sources. See what you can verify. Mm -hmm, I have known mm -hmm. Elder Carapath to be ambitious, certainly. But I have also known him to be reasonable. I think that's honestly good news for us to know because we're, we, we are going to try really hard to, you know, be like, true, true all aboard the Carapath train. Like, we're going to build a relationship and a connection. Um, so maybe that's helpful to know that he might well, not. that might be not a... be easy. Uh, but uh... but we'll, we're going to try, though. Yeah, because he's our boss. We, we want to be good employees here at Adventure Incorporated. We don't want to lose that. Yes. Belroth slowly recovered, like, slowly has, like, a flashback to the dream state him, and he just, like, really wants to say synergy. And he's not really sure why <laughs> he wants to say synergy. And I don't think he knew I do when. not want to... I do not want to imply that I find Carapath incapable of this. It is possible he did that. I find it far less likely that he would be involved in the death of Elder Riggs. Elder Riggs and he did not see eye to eye often. But there was no denying from anyone where the power in their dynamic lied. Oftentimes in situations like this, power tends to rest in future power. Not what can you do for me today, but what can you do for me in the future? Elder Riggs did not have a lot of future power to trade on. That's sad, but fair. Um, was this guy worth anything? Uh, Darren points to uh, Willow, Willow Hart. Hart. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a smile breaks out across his face. He says, I love Willow Hart. He would be a great asset to you in your corner. The th- uh, things that you deal with in the world are beyond his scope. But that does not mean he does not have his uses. There are many types of things that happen in Adventure Incorporated, many things that pass through these doors. There are many things that are his purview, things that Carapath has no patience for. So he's the gossip? Mm, No. Uh, The things that he has uh, make his business tend to be more straightforward type of adventuring uh, than the things that Elder Carapath likes to deal with. Carapath is a politician at heart. Uh, Willow Hart is an adventurer. One who has passed his prime, no doubt. But one who understands and is a good man. Understood. That's really helpful to know. I'm sorry we almost blew up your spot at the beginning of this. I'm sure he won't remember. What gives you that impression, ma'am? <laughs> <laughs> wait. Ah, uh, but it is time for me to take my leave regardless. Wait, were you... Pre- this is uh, how I tend to leave a conversation anyway. W- were you pretending to be affected by the halfling pipe leaf just to be friends with your friend, or... Oh, yes, this does not affect me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it would wait. be nice. I just love to. Th- I love the look on his face. <laughs> it makes brings me so much joy. That's very sweet. You said there was someone that you had talked to 
that might have more information about this just a minute ago. That was Silver Blade, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Sorry. Uh, it's I, I understand. Yeah, dear. Yeah, the smoke. The smoke. <laughs> um, is there is there anyone else you think that we can and should trust with um our current goals, I guess. Anyone we should He leans forward. He says, "I'm not telling you you can or should trust me." Uh, well, that's something that a trustworthy person would say. Um these are decisions that you are going to have to make. Fate swirls around you for a reason. And it will be your judgment that allows you to make these calls. Then, all right, man. But like, it, let it, me let me rephrase my question. <laughs> Whose guidance would help us make the decision confidently? Not necessarily tell us what to do. But give us the information. I appreciate that you have reframed. I appreciate that you have reframed your question. Give us enough information to <laughs> basically not shoot ourselves and potentially the world in the foot and feel bad about it later. Or yeah, these are not different, things I can tell you. But yeah, in a different way, right? Like uh, bow drawn arrow to your temple, right? Whose homework <laughs> are you copying off of, man? <laughs> right. Like at this point in the world. I'll be looking at your sheets. Oh, my gosh. Oh. I'm... Okay. <laughs> I wish I could give you this answer. No, I know. Truly. This is not an answer that I'm holding back from you. Mm. It is something I can't tell you. Because I do not have... the information you're looking for. Understood. You have to decide who to trust. You have to decide who is telling you the truth and who is lying. And in reality... Everyone is doing both. Belroth is thinking of the paradox that he's clearly saying, oh, nope, <laughs> smoke in the room again. It's still there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, um, if you're, like, going around collecting stories, we met the craziest spaghetti mouth monster. Uh, you go down into the scar where the mole people live, there, uh, in there's there, no there's a people. portal there's no... that that takes you out to this place with a guy with like uh, tentacles hanging off the bottom of his face. Super nice guy, crazy nice guy actually, <laughs> but like, uh, crazy <laughs> stories for sure. Of course, I will have to remind you that the stories that I am collecting, they will have to go back with me. The meeting comes again soon, and the stories I carry will have to be relayed. Okay. Is that, are you warning us? Or is it bad? Should we not be telling you things? It would be behoove you to decide which things you tell me and which things you do not. Because the things you tell me are not for my ears alone. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's fair. I don't think we've told you anything yeah. Wait, which one's next is it uh winterbone or the green man winterbone is overseeing things now okay so next will be the green man indeed hmm. uh ellery does that mean anything like is there a difference between them oh there are there are uh, a lot oh, of differences no. actually there or is, is it like two sides of the? Oh, like well, I guess they're more like two sides of the same coin. We don't, we don't practice any differently. But the way that you experience things, the stories that you tell, there is, you know, someone might say that's a tale for Winterbone. I, Amelia would say that sometimes. She was Winterbone. She liked Winterbone stuff. Oh, did I say something weird? Oh. Nope. Okay. Sorry, your partner. She's trying to figure out who yeah. really is. <laughs> Sorry, I know. I don't bring her up very much. I'm sure it must be super painful for you. I understand. No, it's fine. I'm just very, very, very high right now. <laughs> so, like, Ellery, what story should we not have told uh, for the green man to hear? Or I guess everyone hears it. 
It will be everyone. Yeah, it sounds who like hears. everyone. I don't think we've. I don't. I don't. I can't think of anything we've said that besides the fact that we have this whole chest of of, of precious stones, yeah, and that, that might put important. a. Yeah, I don't okay. think they care. I feel like. I feel like I. Go ahead, Darren. Sorry. No, you you tell me what you feel first, man, and then we'll talk about our feelings more. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, so I feel like we should just tell everybody everything, and I just really can't decide. I feel like I just don't want to tell, like, keep secrets, and, and, and I feel like everyone needs to know about the demons, and not enough people know about the demons, so maybe if everybody knew about it. So that's uh, that's where I am. Yeah, I get that feeling a lot, man. It's really good to be open and, like, uh, share with everybody. Uh, the thing that I was feeling is fear. Because, uh, <laughs> like, uh, I'm afraid of magic creatures who are more powerful than me deciding uh, what my fate will be. Uh, I think that it is always very good to share your information. That is what I do. I gather stories. I share them with others. But I think that in your line of work, it is naive to think you will not find things that people will use against you. Yeah. Maybe you have not found those stories yet. But they exist. Yeah. And they will That's be part fair. of you. Well, this has been very enlightening, but I think I need a breath of fresh air. Right now, I think no. I must take my leave. Oh, anyway. perfect! I'm crazy time for me right now. I feel quite enlightened. <laughs> <laughs> Super need a sandwich. <laughs> that sounds incredible. Let's get sandwiches. <laughs> Finally, man! Oh yes. my gosh, where could we get a sandwich right now? <laughs> I could eat. <laughs> <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Hey everyone, DM Anthony here, just reminding you that if you're enjoying the show, tell your friends. Tell your family, uh, let people know, word of mouth, and you can support the show at patreon.com slash adventuring, or you can check out the shop at adventuringpod.com slash shop. Make sure you check the show notes and the website for all our social media, including our Discord, where you can come and hang out with some great people. We'll see you there. And until next week, I wish you nothing but critical success. Serious business.